you. Don't nope. be melee. This I'm... is you. That's 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 a game that God doesn't look at. Pretend melee. Hey, we and got the SD. Back into the match. We got the SD remix, but we got a uh, Sheik in this game too, and we got Ayu. Hitaku versus Trevante. Hitaku was the one that put Trevante into losers before. All right, Subby. And he's not okay. So I talked about it in the first match, but you know, like he's doing good job. Oh yeah, we'll see. like. He's not doing his normal Hitaku stuff, where he's like throwing out needles and whatnot, but he definitely is getting his combos. He was and the one that 3 0 Trevante earlier. Exactly. Put him into losers. You think that would Trevante would actually swap his character? Nope. But nope, he's, he wants he's, to go like all the way through. This is what we want to see. He doesn't. Oh god, never mind. Not that. <laughs> Forward he's air. getting really hard to on Hitaku. I don't know why you went for that. That was. Really, really late down there. And that bouncing fish will do it. Very good job from Hitaku. Closing out the stock. Now that is the most important, one of the most important things about Sheik is getting, closing out the stock. Okay. Like you can get percent. Percent's easy to get. But closing out the stock, a little bit difficult if you don't get the down throw up air or the 50 50, as most people call it. You can't get uh, too greedy for that kill. Oh, not. Oh, rip. Fair. No one's doing those void combos. On the other hand, not too many players can perfect pivot, so I don't blame them. But um, the void combo is you perfect pivot in between all of those forward tilts, and then perfect pivot up tilt, and then you could immediately go into a grab. It's, it's amazing stuff, but... Again, well, I do all that when you use forward air. <laughs> you gotta build that percent. Forward air is only like 4% every single time. Back air? Try to get the trump. Doesn't get yep. the trump. Very good job from Otaku. He knows. Oh! He knows, yeah, after roll. I thought he threw the bomb a second time. Kind of scared me. Yeah, I thought the grenade would actually pull Trevante into it, but I guess not. Just uh, just tickling him a little bit. Oh! Oh my god! That backer would have done it. Oh! That, that could do it too! It as well. Alright, Trevante got a little bit of rage to work with. I wonder how he's gonna uh, utilize it. That was actually really smart though by Trevante to get that kill. Down for the border. But, um... Anyways, that was really smart for Trevante to throw out a hitbox before Sheik was actually there, so Taku ran into that. Yeah, Taku ran also not it. doing a very safe option, using the Uppy. I mean, I like it, I respect it, but I don't think it was a very good idea, especially against a character like Ike, where you oh. can die. Oh no, not neutral. Down B in neutral is very unsafe. I mean, if you whip it, you're done. And he can also uh, use the side B, like, when he's waiting for him to get back on stage, and then use it, because it covers yourself. A little bit, not too much, but you got an option. I really wish Itaku would have uh, full jump and waited, because he got the forward tilt, and if he waited for Trevante's air dodge, he would have gotten the up air. It's a great 50 50. Ike is so strong. Oh, yeah. He's already, like, throwing him on stage. Oh, man, we're getting. This is what I like. I like to call, when you're playing Sheik, I like to call the high percents melee percents, because fair can kill. That's it. So can forward smash. Good job, oh, yeah. Itaku. Forward smash will kill so incredibly early. And this is when Trevante decides what he wants to do. Is he going to stay his pride and, his pride and true? I, I don't even know how to say that word. I don't know if it's tried and true or pride and true. But he's going. Tried and true. He's staying uh, Ike. Going to Battlefield. Battlefield being a pretty good stage for Ike. Yeah, mainly because uh, don't land on platforms above Ike. He's just going to put his sword up. Get the whipple bat. Oh my god. Hey, was raise the roof with that sword. Is that super armor? I don't know actually. Because like he like he like highlighted himself. I guess the um the moves clash and the stronger move just comes out on top. It's like you trying to jab a uh, smash attack at the same time. Spoilers, the smash attack's gonna win. Yeah. Unless you're playing Ryu and it trades. But enough of that guy. Oh, that was actually pretty cool because he actually I thought he was gonna get the sweet spot on the ledge, but the grenade kind of pulled him in. One mistake by Hitaku, going for that up two. Then he jumped up, got hit by that backer. But now Hitaku has control of the stage once more, except for Trevante hitting him with that backer and regaining stage control. And I feel like even though he's a little bit lower in percent, I feel like he is playing the stage optimally because he's kind of just going in, getting his two percent. And when he's not getting fo uh, dash attack, he's kind of just going in there, getting a little bit of percent, and then backing away, resetting the control. He's, uh, he's getting the leads on Hitaku actually very, very well. What I like is that uh, his edge guard's onto she. Oh, that was scary. And he, missing a move against uh, Ike is really scary. Quick draw, getting the auto cancel. Uh oh, oh, I thought that was gonna be a uh, stop. Right there. Okay. 
just jump out of those. All you have to do is just jump out of those. And then people will not get the vanish. So that's a little too high for that. He's just trying to mind game Itaku right now. And Itaku's doing a very good job of just being patient and not biting into what Trevante is doing. That's all you need is just a little bit of patience. Watch your opponent 100%. Oh, God. That's it. Oh! Not doing the optimal, uh... I think he, punish. he could have done a RER back end. I think that might have taken it. Or even an up smash. I, up smash would be too slow, I think, but either way, can't do, uh, can't do this here. Ooh, that's ballsy. Up smash, getting the sour spot, getting him at an unfavorable position. No bouncing fish, though. He's going to get the needles. He doesn't really need to do anything. Oh, there we go. There's that side B I was talking about. Nice. Quick draw coming out. Oh, man. Forward air Woo! does it. That bear. Full, 138 full with, uh, with full rage Ike. Yeah, you're not living that. Even from the center of the stage. All right? Let's see how Trayvon is gonna get around this uh, this needle camping. Especially with a slow heavy character. Nice! He just double jumped the neutral, jumped over the needles, jumped over the needles again, and needles actually have a good amount of uh, recovery on them. So you have to throw those needles from a decent distance. If you throw them like really close, the opponent could just jump over them and uh, punish you. They could even shield and punish you. That's that's how unsafe throwing those wheels are. You so, have to throw them from the optimal distance each time. If I was Hitaku, even though like a super high percent, like when he's off stage doing the quick draw, like you're not you're not punishing. He has not tried to punish him one time. You're just kind of waiting around. But, like just charge needles. Like that's your best time to charge needles. Oh yeah, most definitely. Yeah, that, you can get to that percent where your forward tilt can kill. There's there's not much that you could do. I would say just probably sit in the middle of the stage. Yeah. There's nothing. Just kind of wait. You want you talking right now is looking for that forward tilt. Does it kill at this percent? No, uh, because he probably wants to do forward tilt into a um into the copper gym. Basically into oh, the that can take it? God. No, no, it doesn't. Almost. Almost. That was very close. Full rage Ike. Even that jab went crazy. Once you're past the uh she actually does have that magic. Oh, that was a perfect pivot up tilt if you guys missed that. That was actually really, really sick of Trevante. Yeah. Love his spacing. All right, this is really scary. Back air, no back air is coming out. Oh my god, he he, he did it, but he didn't is get it? it. But then he got the dash attacks. Yeah. And even even Trevante just talking about how he didn't time him properly. Yeah, Trevante is just styling on people. That's a uh, that's how he's been getting Hitaku the majority of the time. He just chucks him off stage, gets that control of the stage, and just. He just sits there, and he waits, and he waits. He does something like perfect pivot away, or turn around three times, and then people react, and he gets three punishes and kills. Yeah, he's Off watching, and he's waiting. He's waiting That's... on the edge to get the punish. Wait, what's that from again? I don't know. From uh, Phineas and Ferb. Shout out to Disney know. Channel boys. <laughs> oh my goodness. And what's, uh, what does suck about Sheik is that once she... Something sucks about Sheik? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, once you get past, once you uh, once you get into your opponent to about that like magic range, like a hundred, like a hundred and fifty, then it gets really hard to get the kill. Cause from there, your down throw doesn't set up into anything, and then from there, only you could really do is go for those uh, those forward tilts. Yeah, it's kind of fishing out for him. And Trevante's doing a little bit, uh, well, a lot better now. Job of spacing out his moves, but man, wow, the taco's right bringing it right back. I mean, that was a good option for his down air because he hasn't used it all match. So, like, Trevante wasn't going to be ready for that. Oh, my God, with that back air. You know, earlier on, um, I just want to focus on the match, but earlier on when uh, Hitaku did that perfectly spaced bear, he went for jabs afterwards, and all of his jabs whipped. Oh, God. And he got a free punish, and it led to this situation that he was currently in right now. It was all for that one situation. It, uh, it put 30 damage on him. Took him off stage, up and now he was fighting for stage control, and that get up onto the stage. Trevante read it. 30, uh, 33 frame uh, get up. That, uh, that's a long time to get up onto the stage. That is half a second, guys. <laughs> that's a long time. You can throw literally anything. You can throw out anything that you want. That's why standard get up is not... Um, it's nice at the lower levels, but top players know how to punish that. Yeah. So you have to know how to mix it up. And at top level, you're playing a character like specifically like Ike, who take up a humongous range. 
and characters like Wario who can also take up a humongous range and get up, take up a lot of options. Like, it's very hard to understand, like, how to get up. And they just throw out hitboxes that last quite literally forever. <laughs> like, yo, well, I got oh, hit by, wow. that, by that hit, that up smash, like, last game, bro. Did you that, throw that out last game? Yeah. <laughs> that was actually a really good option there by Tim oh. Um, not, not the recovery option, but, um... Earlier on, when Hitaku was putting pressure onto his shield, he got a forward tail onto his shield, and Trevante responded by rolling back. And that gave Trevante a little bit of stage control there. And it did put him up into the air. Like, I haven't seen Hitaku hit him with a forward tail that entire time. But forward wow, air will be that forward air will definitely take it. And it only took me two games, but I'm realizing the reason why uh, Trevante is, is consistently using Quick Draw as a recovery option. And that's because Hitaku actually punished uh, Trevante uh, two or three times for using the uh, up beat. And I mean, you're either going to go all the way across the stage or to the ledge in front of you. So uh, it's, it's so hard to mix that up. Order. He didn't do that right. Uh, which stinks. Well, I'm not sure if it's because of the rage. It's probably because of the rage. Yeah, Hitaku's doing a very good job. He understands how to punish that. And I'm thinking what I'm pretty sure what's happening. Is, oh my god. And I'm pretty sure what's going on is that uh with that is that up B, the sword, because it's basically considered a projectile, hits the bomb, and then you in the side B, grenade hits a bomb, I mean hits a projectile, it kinda like flies forward, you know? And it hits uh height from that. You know what I'm talking about? When, a, when you're side, yeah. when you cheek side B, grenade, hits you projectile, could, it flings forward. And then it, it blows up in a ice face, and that's what happens with that. Well, you could also hit the projectile as well and stop it from blowing up. Down throw, up. Ooh, he missed the combo. That was really good DI, though, from Yutaku. DI'ing into, uh, into Trevante. Make sure he does get that combo. But Yutaku get that combo right back. Forward, so, forward, forward. I don't really agree with going to Lilac. Um, you know, you got us. I up smash can hit throughout the entire platform. Yeah, I don't also, know. I've, I asked Stark uh, when me and him played in between sets because I picked uh, another stage, and I'm like, yo, is Lila a good stage for uh, Ike? Because I already picked my stage. And he's like, yeah, it's a good stage. Platform. Yep. This is how low the platforms are. Trevante has a lot of options. I mean, if you land above him, you're, you're probably going to get up so this Good option there by Utaku going immediately for the jabs afterwards. Just out, uh, out speeding Ike. If you think about it, the um, best way to get rid of Ike is just you have to pressure him. His uh, his jab is six frames. He has a good, cute little six frame jab that he can do. That deals a lot. It does deal a lot, <laughs> but it's slow. Oh, good finally gets that re and it actually kills him. I think that was suboptimal DI. Well, I mean, not only that. I mean, he air dodged. If he just by doing that one air dodge, that's instant setup into the uh, to vanish. Fair, fair, fair. That's what a 50-50 can do here. Oh, oh yeah. and that actually ruined his setup. Um, Lila setting him at it, setting the grenade at an angle. Jab, jab, jab. Oh, up tilt. He's Don't very do patient. standard get up. He did that like three times in a row. He got caught by it every single time. Forward throw, yeah. up air. Yep. Nothing after that. Very good patience from the top. That up air is pretty much your combo energy. Like, all right, I'm done. I got nothing else after that. And that's like that's that shows the difference between a oh my good sheet player and a sub and an okay sheet player. You know, like just having the patience, like to know when you when you gotta stop. Like he goes in, gets some damage, and then he backs off and resets to neutral because he dominates the neutral. That was weird. <laughs> yeah, that was a little weird. Well, I mean, he side beat onto the platform, so. Well, oh, the part of Forward. Air. Grenade. Nada. Yeah. Throwing it again. He got the grab. Bouncing fish? No bouncing fish because Lilac. He's, he really is respecting Trevante a lot. He's not, very best, but not really, really good. Really, really good by Hitaku. Going for that down throw into the upper. Alright, so one of these guys are going to Grands, right? That's how... I don't know. I never get this, this far. Finals. I never get this far in bracket, man. I don't know how, how these what? brackets work over here, man. It's Loser's <laughs> Finals. The winner of this goes in the Grand All finals. I know is that I play a few matches and then I just wait for my name to get called. That's all I know. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I'm out? Okay, time to go commentate. Uh, <laughs>
But yeah, uh, right now it's 2 2 and we gotta see where Trevante is gonna go. Um, Suzaku Castle, guys, let's do it. If only. I believe because of DSR, there are certain stages that he is gonna be limited to, so. So he can go to Lilac. He can go back to Lilac because he lost the stage. FD, Town of City, no, not Town of City, Smashville. Yep. And I think that's it. And Dreamland, but nobody likes Dreamland. Yeah, he's gonna go back to Lilac because that's a good stage for Ike, yep. like you said. He, uh, he has a lot of options that cover it. So, like, he, yes, he does have the... As a character, he does have the advantage. I don't know how comfortable uh, Javante is with his uh, Ike on uh, Lilat. So, we'll see how it is. I'm I'm still a little sad by that uh, that start from Taku. Getting, he got a nice 32% uh, percent onto a... Uh, on the Trevante, but he went four throw bouncing fish. That that just made me a little sad. He could have gotten right now. Um, Trevante's at like yeah 92, and he would have been at 62 off of that one grab. That one grab should do 62 percent on a great majority of characters, even a bunch of heavyweights like uh, like Ike, or even characters like uh, like Meta Knight. I've seen um. Vinny, Mr. R, do, um, and even Zero, do that grab combo. Oh, and Void, do that grab combo, like, on Tyrant. Lightweight characters, middleweights. It's a combo that's not utilized by a lot of, uh, sheep players. And what I want to see Trevante utilize right now is that jab. Because he, I mean, yeah, it doesn't do a whole ton of damage, but it's what's, it's effective. He got two jab combos in a row, like, just like that. He's doing, it's just, con it's just smooth. You know, you're, you're Ike. You don't need a lot of percent. Like, right now, he's at... Kotaku is at kill percent. You don't need a bunch of damage when you're playing Ike. Yeah, that backer is probably gonna kill. And probably a few other options as well. Nice dash attack. Or... Side and he gets oh, the read once again! Nice. Very good job from Hitaku. Will Hitaku be kicking Trevante out of this tournament? Will he get the double whammy? We'll find out next time on... Come on, man. Back air? No back air. Oh. Oh, wow. wow Lilat not giving him the grab. Trevante shaking his head. Yeah, I never would have saw that coming. I would have gone for literally the exact thing. Oh, that was weird. So, you just got to do it, man. Sometimes you just got to do the, the worst option that you can think of because nobody will expect that. I would have never expected that. No, I don't he, hasn't used, he has not used Eruption in all 10 games that they've been played against. They played against each other. Well, eight, I guess. Forward air. Oh god, I thought he was gonna miss it for a second. I thought he did it the he, wrong way. The bounce is good. He knows exactly what he's doing. Let's see if he knows how to get back into this game. Yeah, Forward he, air. That grenade forwards that get up. Oh god. Team. Yep. Devante is not at the kill percent yet. Unless he talks and gets that grab, which is what he is fishing for right now. He wants to get that grab. And all this percent that I mean. In Smash 4, all the per you're getting percent, and that's all nice and pretty and whatnot. But if you're not getting the kill, it's irrelevant because all you're doing is making your opponent stronger. So that's what's really important oh. for Hataku right now. And unless he can't get this uh, grab, unless he can't get this kill, you're not going to get anything off this. He he still has a really good setup right now. Uh, at 120, he can go for the top of the game, which is a good kill percent. Which is the uh, good old forward tilt, full jump into up air. Either way, you want to go for that uh, that forward tilt into up air, get that kill. Oh my that god, that would have that would have did it, but I guess it was good. SDI. Good DI by Trevante, barely getting it. This is it. This is it. Yeah. Fair. Not yet. Looking like a little slip and slide. Yeah, they're playing too. Oh. Oh, and he gets it. That's it. Very good job from Hotaku. Gonna be going to grand finals. That um that